We believe that now artificial intelligence will give us the advantage to alleviate people from certain jobs that were not enjoyable in the past. No one really enjoys driving in traffic. No one enjoys <laughs> you know, being yelled at at a restaurant. We used to do these jobs because it was required. And we as humans always create jobs and create opportunities when there is a need to do so. Um, so based on the, the world we live in today, there are many jobs that exist today that did not exist in the past, whether it's you know, social media influencers or social media managers, um, and, and other jobs that came with the advancement of technology. We completely believe that in the long-term future, every single person is going to have a type of job that they're going to be in. Now, the risk that we have is the short and medium, uh, medium future. So we're looking at the next five to 10 years when these jobs are going to be created. If we do not create jobs for people who will be losing their jobs because of artificial intelligence, we will have massive problems in governments across the world. So it's all about riding the wave and understanding how you can migrate people to the next available job that is created. We also believe that illiteracy today is not, not being able to read and write. It is moving from that to being not able to program. Uh, in the future, if you don't speak the language of technology, you will be left <coughs> out. So we have worked on many initiatives to enable people to do so, not just in the UAE. So we have curriculums to teach people coding from kindergarten to 12, so K to 12. But we also are working to train a million people how to code in the Arab world, because we believe that if you want to improve the state of the region, you need to improve the opportunities that people have and really give them the opportunities of the future. Uh, finally, the biggest challenge that we see in the UAE, and I think this is a challenge for every country on Earth, is that artificial intelligence changes, adapts, and is not the same thing from the day that you buy it or the, the day that you use it. It keeps changing with the data sets and the things that it's exposed to. So when it comes to regulation, it is extremely difficult for you to be able to define or determine how to properly regulate it. And I think this is what all governments should come together to discuss. Now. Our opinion on this is that this is something that should be democratized. Artificial intelligence should be something that the whole world comes together to discussing, to regulating uh, jointly, and to working together on advancing. It has huge potentials to advance our, our civilization, and it also has huge potential to destroy us. Destroy us, I think, mostly socially, um, because we as humans would feel obsolete if we lose our jobs to machines. But we do have an opportunity to come together and to find the right equation to, to put things in order. Like climate change, artificial intelligence will cross borders. Like climate change, it was the result of countries trying to advance very quickly without thinking of the consequences. And this is why I think artificial intelligence should be governed from now. We should all be part of this discussion.